Hi, welcome to the New Jersey Skinny, brought to you by New Jersey Realtors, where we dig into the most recent numbers from our market. Many housing markets across the nation have essentially stalled due to an ongoing shortage of homes for sale. Desirous buyers are out on an increasing number of showings, but there still remains a limited number of desirable listings. The situation in New Jersey has become quite different from the national trend. Sales have been increasing while sales prices have remained stable. Mortgage rates have remained enticingly low, and job and wage growth have improved. The fact that economic recovery in New Jersey has been slower and more drawn out than other parts of the country has also probably helped the housing market. Pending sales increased 9.5% from the third quarter of 2016 to 31,071 for the quarter. Closed sales increased 3.3% from the third quarter of 2016 to 33,299 for the quarter. Sales were up this quarter. Showing activity has not been deterred by a general lack of listings. The number of homes for sale was down compared to this time last year. Inventory levels market-wide decreased 20.4% to 51,476 units. Lower inventory is now a multiple year-over-year -year happening. Prices were down compared to last year at this time. Median sales price decreased 0.2% to $299,000. Lower year-over-year -year prices are a relatively unexpected occurrence within an economic landscape that should provoke higher sales prices. Month's supply of inventory was down 28.8% to 5.3 months. Supply is still lower than last year at this time, which is the expectation for the foreseeable future. Percent of list price received at sale rose to 97.7% since last year. New Jersey cities recently found themselves on a couple of interesting lists. The famous Money Magazine Best Places to Live in America placed four of the state's cities high on the list this year. North Arlington, 8th, Saddlebrook, 24th, Parsippany Troy Hills, 33rd, Clifton, 36th. Meanwhile, on the other end of the spectrum, some might have noticed that the financial website WalletHub declared Newark, Patterson, and Elizabeth as the lowest-ranking cities for real estate in the country. This information should be taken with a grain of salt, as all three cities are showing healthy year-over-year -year increases in sales and or prices. It just goes to show how important it is to actually study the reported numbers from actual data from month to month. That's the New Jersey Skinny for this quarter. Check back next quarter for the latest.